it, it, it's, it's not it's not even been long like I should I should just start a video without feeling like nervous hello guys I'm Ravi and welcome to a new video today we're going to do something that all of you guys with an old system should do changing the, the thermal paste and maybe also the thermal pads of your GPU I have this really cool looking GTX 260 Game World GS here coming straight from 2009 from an era where one gigabyte of VRAM was a luxury and where Sapphire liked putting ladies on GPU throughout to appeal to the gamers of the past. As you can see from the warranty label, this card does never be opened before, almost 12 years of the same paste and pads. Before changing them though, let's see some tests. If you are interested, these are my other specs for my test bench, but it shouldn't matter too much, they are overkill for this card anyway. And I'm gonna record with my main PC to reduce the load of recording. When I first mounted the card, I was welcomed by this lowly 100% speed fan with no display output. But then I swapped the PCI power and everything came back to normal. Anyway, when all was good, I fired up MSI after burner, then I opened MSI Combustor to bring the GPU to its max. I left it running for about 10 minutes and uh, got a maximum temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. I honestly was expecting a lot worse, which we can maybe get with overclocking. Got any hints yet? I, 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 uh, I tried overclocking, the only problem was that I was able to bring it to just plus 45 megahertz on the core and plus 160 megahertz on the memory before crashing on me so I just ditched the whole idea and just left uh, the stock results in it was now time to change the thermal paste and thermal pods so let's switch to my top camera meme review okay i have the gpu here let's start unscrewing the warranty level broke I'm pretty sure the last owner didn't uh, ever like open this card since uh, the state of the computer when I grabbed this thing was Jesus Christ. I will be making a another video on the that PC, so please subscribe. Okay. Okay, and the shrash. I will go clean this. Yahoo! And uh, I'm back. Whoa, okay. So it's. Um, oh, I, I touched it and it wasn't like uh, uh, concrete. I forgot to do this. Give me a moment again. Okay. So I'm gonna change the thermal paste. Let's now see what's under the, this other little cooler. Whoa, okay. Finally came. The pads don't look too bad, but uh, I mean, I have this gigantic pad from uh, Arctic. And I bought this specifically for this, so I'm gonna still change them, you know? There is also, oh Jesus Christ, uh, ooh. Yeah, this one is this one is crusty. I need something else. This is a spoon. It, oh my god, it worked perfectly. Uh, this uh, is this a thermal pad? And Jesus Christ, that's filthy. I'm just I'm just like scratching it off, bro. I'm basically done here, so. So almost spotless on the underside, spotless on the upper side. And in the meanwhile, 
that I finished this. So let's just, you know, for now. So one thing is done, at least. Now, memory. Almost perfect. Let's uh, screw it in. Oh sh Um thank god this isn't this isn't a tutorial. Now I have no idea how much thermal paste I should put on this, to be honest. Let's try. How do I... This is pro engineering. Okay, the cooler is together. Anyway, the card is fully back. We have new thermal paste, some MX4 under the dive. And we have uh, some Arctic thermal pads. This one. Unfortunately, this car doesn't have like um, a sensor for the memory temperature. We can't really measure that. So now we're gonna test this car and uh, we will compare the temperature we had before from this one. After this, I repeated the test. So let's see now the load temperatures. Yeah, not really as much as I was expecting, just for Celsius difference. And well, that was a bit disappointing, not gonna lie. I have three theories on... Uh, no, I don't... Three, I don't have a finger. Uh, I, 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 I have three theories on why this is. The first one is that silicone-based thermal paste dries up much slower than normal ones, since I always remember opening up laptops and GPUs with that kind of white paste and it was always kind of fresh. My second one is that the old owner successfully changed the paste without breaking the warranty seal somehow. My third one is that the person that used this GPU just didn't use it much, so the thermal paste naturally didn't um, suffer as much. Actually, about that, uh, one of my next videos is gonna be about the PC where this GPU is from. So get subscribed to not miss that. And with this, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I never ask for subscribers. I I only like put a pop up like this. So I, that's kind of I kind of cringe when I do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, the video is done for today. Like the video, leave a comment if you want and. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.